What is going on everybody? It's your boy Slap Train. Uh, today we're going to be doing Barn Find episode number 4. And this car, once you upgrade this damn car, is crazy quick. And also too, just a heads up, all these Barn Finds, they're actually different for every one of you guys. So, well not, I guess, every one of you guys, but they are different around the map. So I have had people message me saying that these I Barn Finds aren't there. And they're scared that the game's going to be crashing or whatever, but it's not the case, actually. It's just that it's a different um, actual site on each car, and each car is ordered differently as well, too. So my first car might be your last and vice versa, right? So um, we have a big few videos that are up today. First thing, we have a drifting section that I found in uh, actually one of the park areas. And um, it's pretty tight, it, very, very close action, and um, there's not a lot of room for tandems, but it does make a nice section with a lot of your buddies. And the third thing for the video is actually uh, the I-70 to I-70 challenge, which have, I don't know if any of you guys have tried it, um, but the challenge is probably the hardest challenge that we have encountered online. So essentially what it is, is you have to start from the very top of the I-70 speed zone and make it all the way down to the I-70 speed trap. Now if you guys don't know how far this is, this is essentially the whole map going from top to bottom. All right, So the map is huge and it takes you probably about 3 minutes to actually get down and back. Now we've been trying this challenge for probably about 3 days. Um, I'm not even kidding you, like 3 days every night for at least about a good solid hour and a half. And you have to get all 4 drivers across the speed trap within about I think it's five or four seconds of each other now it sounds a little bit easy at the time but let me assure you this is probably as I said the hardest challenge that you will find online um, there's a lot of medians in the road and it just it takes a lot of time to get it now we tried using a lot of uh, I think like six or seven people last few times but last night we had a full lobby going and um, it was actually pretty sick so cut to the drifting scene right here I'm in my BMW and M3 if I'm not mistaken and as I said, it's just a nice little drifting circuit around the town. And if you did get enough angle, um, you could probably do a nice few tandems through this. Now, my biggest problem with the online so far is that the collisions are not the same as for the four. So you could be on someone's door, but essentially on yours, I mean on their screen, you're actually rubbing the hell out of them. So they did kind of make the collisions not as well as for the four. I'm really disappointed in that in terms of the tandeming and stuff like that, because you can't get close enough to each other to make it look nice and if you do on the other side of the car they're pretty much like yo get off my damn car you're you're just scraping me right so um they hopefully will fix that in a patch i don't know if that's even possible after the games come out but we'll have to wait and see and uh yeah that's my little section i will be doing other sections in the game um i will be posting a map of that as well too for my next video if you guys don't know exactly where that is or maybe I should make it so that you guys can tell me where that section is that I just did so find that section out let me know where it is but in the upcoming videos I will be posting a map of where each section is all right so as I said this is the I-70 to I-70 speed zone and um, as I said you have to get all four people across the line now we already lost one guy over the line um, he hit the wall right at the very start and every one of those medians that you see right there, those are the ones that you got to watch out for. Probably about every race, there's about two or three people that hit those medians. And um, it's... I was shaking last night when we actually made this. And when we got to, um, I think, right at the last median set. Like that right there as well, too. You know how many times we've done this to actually hit this? Now, if you guys have done this as well too and you guys want to post it, I'll definitely post this on my channel if you guys can send me a video of you guys completing the I-70 to I-70 challenge and um, I'll definitely put it up on my channel as a video um, because this, as I said, is definitely worth watching for anybody who gets it. Now, I know it looks very easy and you guys are just like, oh my god, you guys took this long to get it, but you really got to watch it and you really got to do it yourself and try it because it's not as easy as it looks. Um, there's a boat. I think a four minute drive the whole way so it's very very hard to get everything properly now sorry the biggest thing that I forgot to mention with this challenge is that you actually have to hit 200 the whole way you cannot drop below 200 so that is the hardest part about this challenge and um, that's why it, it takes so much time is because you have to drop if you drop over 199 you're screwed 
I just want to show you everyone's voice here because they're freaking. Fucking god, dude. Yo, you want to hear a funny oh. part though? I didn't say anything. Yo, we had to do the whole come off, yo. We have to do it again. No, I don't even care. I have a lid, yo. I have a lid. We've, we've officially beat the game. I don't think Wirekiller could have said it any better. He said he, we have officially beat the game. And um, I definitely agree with him on that. If you guys have any questions about this challenge, post them in the bottom. But I'd love to see everyone else's challenge. And um, thank you guys very much for watching. It's your boy, The Slap Train. Until next video, I'm out. Peace. Yo, yo, prep. Yo, prep that Braveheart clip, like, right now.